Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Ben. Welcome back to the channel. As you just saw, it is early. The clock just turned over to 5 a.m. And we're in the car. We're packed up. We're hitting the road and we're heading east. This time, we're not stopping at the Sierras. Let's see what we get up to. So this first driving day is just gonna be, well, it's just gonna be that, a driving day. I've got uh, right around 12 hours in the car ahead of me. We're gonna do it safely, don't worry. We'll, uh, we'll take some breaks, we'll stay awake. I've got a ton of podcasts queued up. I think I prefer to do it this way. Let's just get the boring highway driving out so that we can get out into nature and spend tonight at a beautiful campsite. So let's see what we can do. Well, just like that, we made it to Nevada. We just crossed over the border here, about 12 miles to go before we hit Reno. We made really good time. It turns out, you know, leaving at the ass crack of dawn, there is uh, next to no one on the roads. So made it uh, across California in like three and a half hours. So uh, things are looking good. We'll uh, find a place to gas up without all the, all the California taxes, maybe save a little bit of money. And uh, then we're pushing on to Idaho. God bless Nevada, I just filled up the tank for under 50 bucks, that's pretty incredible. All right, we have made it to Elko, Nevada. This is our two thirds of the way marker. We've covered 500 miles uh, in just about seven and a half hours. It's probably like 30 seconds for you guys. Here in Elko, we're actually gonna meet up with a really good friend of mine, Andrew, and together we'll take off to catch him Idaho to uh, do a little fishing. So we'll catch up with you then. So finally, after a marathon day of driving, something like 13 hours, my ass was in that driver's seat. I am so happy to report that we found this beautiful spot. Uh, seems to be not very heavily trafficked right now. There's a creek down that way through the trees. Uh, there's a fire pit that we won't be using because fire restrictions are in place. Uh, here's my buddy Andrew with his uh, GX, the luxury mobile. And uh, we're gonna get camp set up, we're gonna crack a few beers, then we're gonna get dinner going. It's kind of like what's around like all these trees and whatnot. Like a north-south running valley that has a uh, Alright, good morning everyone. So, last night I didn't do such a great job of picking up the camera. I gotta say, once we pulled into camp, I was absolutely exhausted from 13 hours on the road. Uh, drank a few beers, spent some time catching up with uh, my good pal Andrew, cooked a quick dinner after dark, nothing fancy. Uh, we just grilled up some, some chicken that I had brought. We'll show you that uh, one of these nights because I've got a lot more of it. As you saw, I just got some coffee made and you might have noticed a small little upgrade to the truck. Uh, that's right, back here, let's see if I can show you. 
we've got drawers now. I spent the last weekend preparing for this trip, going absolutely crazy, trying to get these drawers built. Uh, I am not a carpenter. I maybe know enough to be dangerous, but uh, the drawers slide, they're in, they work. They're not perfect. There's a lot that I would do different if I could do it again. Maybe I'll do a full video on them, talk a little bit more in depth about what's going on there. But plan for this morning, uh, get camp packed up. We've already done most of the work there. We're gonna backtrack a bit to catch them, uh, stopping at the fly shop there, get my fishing license, pick up some flies, and then that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go uh, get our flies in water, uh, spend the day hiking around, exploring, and then we'll find a new place to camp tonight. So we'll bring you along for it. Well, after a pretty long day on the water, we ended up hitting three different spots. We're up here in the Sawtooth National Recreation Area, Sawtooth National Forest, looking for a spot to camp, sort of just exploring some of the forest service roads. You know how I like to do, get off the beaten path, find a place to do some dispersed camping. We've been getting uh, skunked. It seems to be so far the way this trip is going. The fish aren't biting, the dispersed campsites are full, but uh, we pulled off onto one I saw on, uh, on Gaia GPS and uh, there's this cool old abandoned cabin out here. It is locked up. We won't go inside, but we can certainly take a peek. Well, if you know me, you know that I'm always gonna stop for something like that. Old abandoned building, old mining sites, old ghost towns. I, I just love that sort of thing. But we're coming up on 6 p.m. and it's high time we find ourselves a spot to camp. So back to the rigs and, and back on the road. All right, after about an hour of, of just going up and down different forest service roads here, looking for a spot to disperse camp, let me show you where we pulled into here. It is just absolutely beautiful. We are at a high vantage point looking down, so Stanley and Ketchum are back that way. We've got the sawtooths over here. They are very much smoked out right now, but on a clear day, that'd be an incredible view. Uh, it's still a pretty decent view. I just don't know how well it shows up here on camera. So we're kind of mostly level. Andrew's got his GX sitting the way he likes it. I got the Forerunner up on a rock here. I camper 
mostly level. I've got a slight tilt towards the mountains over there, but that's all right. I think it is time to get camp set up, get some dinner going, and uh, see where the night takes us. All right, so we've got camp set up. You can see I've got the eye camper out behind me. Uh, I've got the camp kitchen going. The stove is lit. That lodge cast iron grill griddle combo is on. And of course, we've got some beers cracked. This is a separatist project. Good, good double IPA. So, grill's getting hot. It's time for us to talk about dinner. Here's what we got going on tonight. Let's go to the fridge. Now you'll notice Things are a little bit different back here. We got the drawers. We got the fridge on a slider. There is no more crawling in the back, not being able to open up the lids all the way. We are coming up in this world, folks. Like I said, I'll probably do a full review on this setup uh, at some point. This is day two of me actually using it. These drawers, they're mounted at a couple factory mount points underneath. Uh, I've also got this ratchet strap over the front to the factory D-rings and the little cubbies there. Anyway, I digress. Look at that. My lid opens all the way. It's almost like I measured things. I didn't, to be honest with you, I didn't even measure this. This is just pure luck. Maybe if I had measured, the drawers would be a little bit better. But uh, let's see. All right, here we go. We've got a little chicken tikka masala that we're going to throw down. These are some chicken thighs that I just marinated at home before we left. Uh, there's some yogurt, cumin, garam masala, paprika, uh, garlic, ginger, salt, and pepper in here. Uh, one of those meals, again, that is like complex. It's one of those meals that you wouldn't really expect maybe to be having at camp, but you do the prep work at home and it becomes easy, baby. All you gotta do is throw those chicken thighs on the grill and we're gonna show you right now just how easy that is. chicken tikka masala and might as well make it a meal and do a little pre-cooked rice. So we're gonna get this in the pan and get it heating up. All right, check this out. We've got rice, we've got naan, we've got chicken tikka masala that I did all the prep work for at home. It is time for us to chow down because this smells so delicious. We're gonna enjoy the last few minutes of the sunset here and see what the rest of the night has in store for us. Campfire restrictions are in full effect so we won't be having a campfire, but we should get a pretty awesome showing from the stars tonight. We don't have a moon out, so hopefully we'll get to see some action if this smoke sort of clears out and the clouds stay away. And then we'll pick you guys up in the morning and uh, see what adventures we have in store for us. Mm -hmm. 